summer from the Italian club Verona. Joe is in the Southampton side that's without injured Mark Dennis and Nick Holmes. Their place is going to Ivan Golak and Mark Whitlock. And West Ham certainly have their troubles. Goalkeeper Phil Parks and striker Dave Swindlehurst are both out, along with Alan Devonshire, of course. And now Billy Bonds failed a test on a Rick neck today. He's also out. But Paul Allen's blistered feet have recovered. He plays along with the new signing Tony Gale from Fulham. The referee is Alan Gunn from Burgess Hill in Sussex. And Southampton in the red and white get us underway, attacking the goal to our right. Neither side really has got off to a flyer this season. They've both lost one and drawn one. It's absurd to talk about pressure with 42 games still to go, of course, but there's no doubt that psychologically both would love to get a good win under their belts. Peter Shilton. To McMills. Peter Shilton, in fact, who made his debut back in 1966, believe it or not. And Mickey Mills, who we saw just a moment ago, uh, heading that one in, making his 850th appearance uh, in a first team today. And he made his debut also back in 1966. And when you think that in the West Ham camp, Billy Bonds made his in 65, well, <laughs> it's not exactly a young man's game yet. Well, here's a young man who's doing well at the back for Southampton, Agbula. Finding Golak, and back once more to Peter Shilton. Here comes Williams. And now Wallace. Good challenge there by Walford. Williams in. Allen playing it back to him, though. Armstrong. Trying to get it inside the full back for Joe Jordan. Well saved there, but Mills! Oh, clear though by Walford. And we very, very nearly had the first goal for Southampton from Joe Jordan. And also one to celebrate the 850th first team game for Mick Mills here. McAllister did well in the first place, but is injured. Here's Williams on the ball, way back. And then Armstrong flinging this lovely ball inside the fullback. Jordan onto it. McAllister doing well there. And Walford getting it off the line from Mick Mills. Oh, McAllister's right shoulder, which was injured, is OK now. Armstrong. Armstrong from Mills. Hit in low. Wallace surely on a turn, charged away, West Ham didn't know much about it, but Tony Gale in the end did and got it away, and now Barnes can take it up for West Ham. Golax after him, Goddard supporting him, and Barnes still there, until in the end, Agbula gets it away to the relief of the Southampton fans and finds Mickey Mills. Now Armstrong. Offside against Joe Jordan. Martin. Ekbula glancing it for right. Good understanding there between the central defenders. after him and in the end concedes is it the free kick or the corner it's a free kick Gale and Martin coming up from the back again Jordan has retreated to watch Alvin Martin Walford with the free kick and a fine goal by Goddard a beautifully struck header by West Ham striker. Well, that's West Ham's first goal of the season. They drew 0-0 last week with Ipswich. They were beaten 3-0 at Liverpool. Now they've got on the score sheet with that fine-headed goal by Paul Goddard. Beyond Peter Shilton and West Ham leading 1-0. Now Wallace. 
cross coming in, and if it had had a big man at the far post, that might have been an instant reply from Southampton. As it was, it looked as though the Southampton man was being pulled back, and the referee was looking very hard, and uh, the Hammers could so easily have conceded a penalty there. Jordan after this one. Williams. And now Mills. Crossing again towards Jordan. Oh, good work there by McAllister. Goodness knows how he kept that out. A rapid change of direction. And Moran can't believe it. It looked odds on that Southampton had got that equaliser. As Mills played it in. Jordan's header, and Moran changed the direction of it, and somehow McAllister kept it out. Well, he's, this is his fourth season at West Ham as a substitute or an understudy for Phil Parks. Only the fourth game he's had in those four years. And McAllister has already pulled off a couple of really excellent saves this afternoon. Must have thought the equaliser was on there. Golak getting it in and Stewart getting it away. Makings of a good game here. And a lovely ball by Goddard for Allen. Cotty is up there with him. Cotty is on the go. He's got past Ed Buller. And straight at Shilton, who grabbed it at the second attempt as Allen tried to get in to get the rebound. And a lovely break out of defence by West Ham. And Cotty really showing his pace taking that excellent pass well and he got past Agbula but straight at Chilton Wallace a little flick on and Gale with a chance to get it away he's being pressurized by Jordan but still finds Alan Dickens played there for Goddard a little touch for Cotty and again for Barnes Can he keep it in play? Can Barnes keep it in play? He can. A little cross in towards the near post for Goddard. And in the end, Whitlock takes the safe way out, kicks the ball right out of the ground, in fact. And it's West Ham's corner. Mark Whitlock, who had a period on loan to Grimsby last season, was also on loan to Aldershot. A substitute ball which Bobby Barnes will now put on the corner spot deeper one this time Martin coming and attacking the ball and right getting it away Allen Stewart it's Tony Gale Goddard Mike, Cotty, a little touch again, Dickens, and Goddard again! Really sharp form there, and a lovely move by West Ham. Good understanding there. Some nice one-touch football here, and then Dickens getting it across to Goddard. He wasn't very far off with that one. there by Allen. Can Barnes get to this one? Shilton just got his fingers to it. But two players who've looked as good as anybody in the West Ham side this afternoon. Allen and Goddard opening up the way again. Mike, who's been so industrious on the ball at the moment. And a little under two minutes left of the first half. Allen again, killed beautifully. Long range shots off Whitlock. And Shilton wanting to prevent it to go in from the corner. Now, what's he going to do? Oh, not bad, eh? Well, that wasn't as good by Wallace. It puts West Ham in possession. And another go! And Goddard's done it again! Well, it all started with Shilton. His excursion.
motion out towards the corner flag. And when Wallace couldn't do anything with it and gave West Ham possession again, they were in trouble. Shilton right out there, and then that cheeky little flick, a complete missed kick there, and suddenly Southampton have got a back pedal. There's the cross, there's the header. Shilton was back in his goal, could only get a hand to it, but Goddard put it in the net. Gale gets it back. Half-time whistle, and a good first half for West Ham, and particularly for their number eight, Paul Goddard. They call him Sarge, and in fact, like all good sergeants, he's led his line superbly, with those two headed goals beyond Peter Shilton that have given West Ham this very good half-time lead. So half-time then here at the Dell in Southampton. It's Southampton nil, West Ham United two. So West Ham start the second half, 2-0 up, but knowing there's still a fair bit of work to be done here. But Barnes making inroads straight away, and as well for Southampton that Agbula was there. Southampton, remember, who finished last season second in the Cannon League to West Ham's ninth. As Steve Walford takes this throw for West Ham. Agbula's header, helped on by Williams. Very important from West Ham's point of view that they hold, certainly for the last, for the next quarter of an hour or so, not to give Southampton something to bite on early in this second half. But Moran, now Mills, working so hard. Williams, trying to find that unexpected twist from the midfield, that crosses in the Gale, who's had a good first half. Still Mills again, centre midfield now. Golak, here's his cross, Jordan looking to reach it, and Mills, whether that was a swallow dive, whether in fact there was a contact between him and Dickens, well it's all academic, the referee turned his back on it, Alan Gunn, said, uh, goal kick. Played in well there by Walford for Pike. Got Dickens supporting. It's an interesting little ball there for Cotty. And Peter Shilton, who's 35 this month, not troubled by that one. says Pike but it nonetheless falls for Southampton and Steve Williams good play Agbula and now Whitlock and it might come for Armstrong and McAllister only half got there and it might still come for Moran and somehow West Ham cut it out. That time it was Tony Gale. Not for the first time. Steve Moran has been so close to getting uh, an opening Southampton goal. And on that occasion, it was only half stopped in the first place by McAllister and then kept out by some good solid defence after that after Moran got his second shot in. West Ham making a substitution, Paul Hilton is coming on, and Paul Goddard, who scored both the goals, is coming off. You can only think that uh, Paul, must have, uh, Paul Goddard must have 
taken a knock just a moment or two ago on the shin, we think, in an incident away down to our right. Well, he's certainly been in sparkling form, Goddard. He's led that line superbly, and Paul Hilton, who's better known as a defensive well, midfield player, defender or midfield player, has gone right up into a front-running position. Barnes has got away. Can he get his cross in? He can, and caught his touch. Can Hilton finish it off? No, because Shelton was there to knock it away. Quarter of an hour, the second half gone, and Southampton still trailing 0-2. Soon to play Hamburg in the UEFA Cup. For the second successive home game, a Hamburg representative is here today. He'll be aware that Wallace will be a danger. And now, if anything, it must have been handled in by Moran. And the goal is disallowed. Here was Wallace on the move. Well, there was a handball there as it happened. But the referee played an advantage. A deflection. And you can see quite clearly from Steve Moran there was a handball before Joe Jordan turned it in. Ekbula. Hilton to Pike. Oh, taken from behind. That might well have been very painful because Pike was turning and it could have been quite nasty. Hilton playing it in there and there's Agbula and you can see Pike twisting as he fell. Well, the first news is that Jeff Pike, well, he looks as though he's okay to continue. And the other news is that Southampton are making a substitution. They're taking off Ivan Golak and bringing on Alan Curtis. Agbula back to Shilton. He's hardly had anything to do in the second half. Ray Stewart, well, clearance was on and he didn't take it and Curtis dispossessed him and here's Curtis again. Wallace, heading again towards Curtis, flicked on towards Armstrong, left foot, goal! He's done well since he came on, a turn and a left foot shot, and Armstrong has put Southampton firmly back in the game. Southampton one, West Ham two. Martin not getting to it. Stewart getting it back safely to McAllister. Hobbles on. West Ham still effectively with ten men. Uh, substitute Paul Hilton, remember, already on for Paul Goddard. Moran. It's a West Ham throw. Oh, it's a Southampton throw. Williams. Martin's header, not too much ground on it. Paul Allen there as well. They claim a penalty, but it wasn't given. Against the post by Curtis, and it came off against the goalkeeper, and McAllister didn't know where it was, as well for West Ham that Martin did. But a thumping shot from Alan Curtis, tracking the post. Mike's header, caught his touch. Bobby Barnes. He's gone past his man, but not past Shilton. Dickens! And West Ham have made it safe. Tom McAllister, in his goal, is punching the air with delight at the other end. The West Ham players celebrate with... 
with Alan Dickens. They've only had maybe three or four breaks in this whole of the second half. Barnes doing well here for West Ham. Cuts it back. Shelton can only turn it out, and there's Dickens, and West Ham now leading 3-1. Not his day. And not Southampton's at the moment, unless something really dramatic happens. Jordan, but Stewart's there. We're inside the last minute. Armstrong, can he get it onto the left foot? Good work by Gale. Wallace with it. Fuller turning it in. Well, Jordan's got it in. And uh, the flag was up for offside, was it? No, it wasn't. away there by Stewart, flicked in again, and there's Jordan's head on. Well, that makes it 3-2, and it gives Southampton a fleeting chance. We've already played nearly a minute of time added on. Steve Williams is urging everybody forward. The referee's looking hard at his watch. Akrula versus Cotty. Another look at the watch, and another look at the watch, and the ball in the West Ham half again. Martin is there, and the final whistle, appropriate that Alvin Martin should have had the last touch after Goddard had scored those goals in the first half. But there's no doubt at all that Alvin Martin has been the man of the match for me. And a really resolute performance by West Ham in the second half after Goddard had scored those two goals in the first half. Southampton hammering back, got that one back with Armstrong. And then Dickens seemed to make it safe for West Ham. And then Jordan, that late one, as the two managers go off, debating what has really been a dramatic and exciting game of football. Final score, Southampton 2, West Ham 3.